YouTube cheat and today I'm very excited about Mail Engine, our all new mailing platform which has some really really powerful innovations. It's a full featured platform for your mailing which installs right into your WordPress. So you get all the familiar interfaces, you have everything that feels right at home and you get a lot of power, the power of a professional autoresponder right on any domain in 100% your control. Let me quickly show you what are the salient features, what are the most important features of Mail Engine. Of course, we have very extensive training. You can see the training by clicking on watch tutorial. It's going to take you to the training. We've got a number of videos on every single topic that will show you how to best use Mail Engine. But let me give you a quick summary. When you run Mail Engine, you'll be taken straight to the dashboard and you can see a lot of important information over here. Things like the statistics, you can see how many mails you composed, how many mails were delivered, the number of pending emails that have been scheduled for the future. Yes, WP Mail Engine has scheduling. You will see how many people actually saw your mail and you will see how many people actually clicked on your mail and went to your landing page. You'll also see the number of fresh subscribers in the periods because Mail Engine has a full featured subscribe subscription opt-in management system. So you can create opt-in forms you can take it to your websites, you can embed the forms and recruit fresh subscribers. Now below that, you've got the list of the latest emails you've sent out along with the date, the subject. We were checking, of course, this is our test version, we are we're working on it and this is our test data there. But of course, when you send out a professional mail out, you will see all the professional details right over here. You will see the number of open, the percentage number two, the number of unopens, the number of clicks and all the other data that is very relevant to your business that will tell you exactly how your email marketing is doing. So that's the dashboard. Moving on, I want to show you some special features before we get into the nitty gritties of the software. It's a huge software because it's got every feature that you want from an autoresponder. But before that, I want to show you some really, really special things. Number one, it's got Gmail integration. Now, what you can do with this is you can integrate your Gmail accounts using the authorized Gmail APIs or you can include, you can integrate your G Suite account. So if you got G Suite, which is a professional solution from, uh, from, from Google to help you manage your documents and also your communications. So when you get a G Suite account, you can also mail out using the account. The cost of the account is very, very cheap. It's about uh, half a, it's about five bucks a month. So that's very inexpensive to have. And you can have multiple G Suite accounts too. You can integrate all of them using the Gmail API integration. And what's gonna happen is, you'll be able to send out your marketing mailers through Gmail accounts, which are free, and G Suite accounts, which are available at a very nominal cost. And the number of emails you can send through each of these accounts is 500 emails through the Gmail account and 2000 emails a day from the G Suite account. So if you've got a G Suite account and you've got five accounts, you can send up to 10,000 emails, marketing emails per day. And if you've got a Gmail account and you've got a smaller list, you can have five Gmail accounts and send up to about 2,500 marketing email messages a day. And the best thing why this is so important is because G Suite gives you amazing deliverability. You can hope to be right in the inbox majority of the times. That's what happens with G Suite and Gmail. So make sure you have the integration, you test it out and see how that works for you, especially if you've got a lower, a smaller list. Next, let's go right into Compose and you can see this is the place where you actually make your mails. You can select which email ID you send it from. You can select the SNTP you want to use and you can even select multiple SNTPs and Mail Engine is going to use round robin techniques. So one email from here, one email from here, one email from the next one and it's going to send out all your emails in that manner and what's going to happen is you can send out your emails using multiple accounts or multiple SNTPs totally up to you. You can also select the list that you want to send to and of course you can have a lot of lists, multiple lists with multiple email IDs and mail engine is going to make sure that it dedupes all the lists and the mail is sent to each person only one time you can combine multiple lists or you can select only one list it's totally up to you that's not all if you, there, there are some people you want to just add on 
a particular number of times you want to just send some mails manually paste the email right over here or type it out whatever you want and the mail will be sent to those people along with the list you are sending out to and you can also use it to send your test email so if you're testing your deliverability you can put in your manual emails over here you can put in your account emails over here all separated by comma and you can send out and test how your email is doing next is the subject line type in the subject line this is my fantastic subject line whatever you want to type and then you've got the visual mail composer you can type out anything you want you can use basic font styling I'm a bold text I'm italic do whatever you want even make lists this is a list play with font sizes smaller let's make it smaller and go as small as you want you can totally totally control everything and if you want to go to the micro level click on text and you can actually turn and modify the HTML so if you want to add any special HTML code that's perfectly fine and then you've got the spam score check which will quickly tell you whether you whether you're using any spammy words and this is very important because this is again a very important feature whenever you want to mail out you want to quickly change check it for spammy words you might have neglected and put in a few and this software will tell you and warn you to not use those words now the important stuff it's got spin text right into in the email so I can write an email like this this is standard spin text syntax you put all the alternatives in curly braces and use divide the options using the bar symbol so what's gonna happen is mail engines special technology is going to go through this mail pick out specific you know options from all the spin text options you've set in so randomly it's gonna pick out one of these so one of these then one of these then maybe one of these and finally this and this and it's gonna send out and unify each email that you send out now what is amazing is it picks up a random option between each of these every time it sends out so here the combinations can grow exponentially big depending on how many combinations you've used in some of the mails for example this would be picked up in the second mail this would be picked up in the third mail this would be picked up then in the in the next one this will be picked up combined with this combined with this combined with this so in here we've got just five different options but combine it unify it and exponentially you will have over 525 options just out of these five options and if you've got a standard mail you can have a lot more options you can maybe have 10 options and you will have virtually thousands of different combinations going out so pretty much every mail is going to be unique and what's gonna happen is email gmail yahoo and all of these esps are gonna see your email they're gonna see a unique email hitting the system each time they're not gonna be able to build a footprint and you're gonna be able to inbox more often that's not all it's also got URL spinning and why is that special now even if you've got spin text in the text and you're sending out 10,000 emails with the same with different text in each of the emails but if the URL is the same they will still know that you are doing a marketing email but if the URL is different in each email that's the most important sign that ESP see to know that the email is not really a spammy email and that is done only by WP mail engine just switch it on and any URL that you've got in there it's gonna be spun which means W mail engine is going to create a unique URL out of it and anyone who clicks on that URL is first going to go to your site and then be redirected using JavaScript redirection to whatever your landing page is this protects you this protects you from any kind of bans and negative effects and of course it gives you a, an option to be found in the inbox more often because again ESPs are going to be less aware or, or no less that it is gonna it's gonna be a mass mail and this is something really really impressive for you especially if you've got a smaller list you're not a huge marketer sending out tens of thousands of emails a day you're a smaller marketer and the footprint decreases even more so these combination of the features like Gmail sending spin text in the URL spin text in the mail and spam score check it's gonna help your deliverability a lot you're gonna be in inbox more often you're gonna be found more often you're gonna be you're gonna spend time in spam a lot less which is going to help your email marketing a lot 
and MailIngine is a software which is designed for email marketers. It's made from ground up for email marketers and you can use absolutely any SMTP with it. Go into the SMTP section, if you've got SendGrid, if you've got MailGun, whatever you've got, even your own hosting SMTP, you can put in there and you can send out your emails using the SMTP. You can combine multiple SMTPs. As I showed you earlier, it supports multiple SMTPs. So you can combine multiple SMTPs. You can send out one mailer using multiple SMTPs. Then it really keeps an eye on the links you put in. So you've got all these links here. There's a short code and it's going to tell you exactly how many people click clicked on that link to visit it and what was the last visit on when was the link created all of this information is available in the link section and in the from email section you can set up your from email so when you go to composer you can just select very quickly which from email you're using to send out the email next this is the list section you can create a list, click on create new, you can just give it a name and a new list will be created. You can export the list to the CSV or you can add subscribers either just, just by pasting them here, enter name and enter email or you can even import a CSV and add more subscribers to your list in no time at all and of course nothing needs to be approved because if this is in your control, this is your platform so everything is in your control. That's not all. You can even create mail sequences. So whenever new people are added to the list, you can create a mail sequence in which you will give them specific emails, in which you will send them specific emails at different times. So maybe on the day one, you will send out a specific email to them, a welcome email. Then maybe two days later, you can send them a reminder or whatever you want. That way you can develop a complete mail sequence and make sure that you, your subscribers, your subscribers are highly, highly engaged using Mail Engine. You can look at the mail sequences by clicking on mail sequences. We saw the composer briefly just a little while ago. You can type out your mails, you can select your mails and then you can either even create a post or create a page that way you'll be, you'll be found on search engines too. And this is something unique. This is something that only this software can do. Anytime you send out an email, it will also create a post or a page on your blog and you will be discoverable on Google too, you are discoverable through SEO tool. So your writing will have a deeper impact because you're not only getting customers from email, but also from SEO so that you get additional sales, additional subscribers and are able to turn your emails into profit one another way. You can also schedule the mails. You can, you can see the schedule this mail button right over here. Select the time zone you want, select the time you want and the date you want and click on schedule mail to send your email at a later date. This is the composer. It's very easy to use. Everything is right in front of your face. Next in mail sent, you can see all the emails that you have sent and you can see how they did, what were the opens, what were the unopens, the number of you know links clicked, which SMTPs you used. If anyone unsubscribed, then you will see the count for that too. Moving on, you will see the scheduled mails, mails which are scheduled to go out in the future over here. If you want to cancel any scheduled mail, you can do so. Then in the link section, you can see all the links that you create and you can see whether there were any clicks on it. So you can browse every single link that you create from emails and see how you were doing, how people were clicking on those links. Next, you can create subscription forms. So you can recruit fresh subscribers very easy. Just click on create new subscription form and you will be able to embed that form on any website and recruit new subscribers very, very easily. People can just put in the email IDs and names and that's it. You can even edit any existing subscription form if you want. You can change a couple of things like form name, form title, the message, everything else. You can modify whatever you want and click on save settings to save the settings. You can even show your form as a pop-up. In subscription records, you will see the people who have subscribed to you using the forms. Right in our test email, we don't have anyone like that, but you will have a lot of subscribers if you use subscription forms and drive traffic to it. In email settings, you can set up some basic options, things you want to put in in every email, like the delays between two, e between two email jobs, and the email batch size all of these things you can configure in email settings we will have defaults if you want to play with it you can 
and finally in error log you will see any errors that occurred while sending you will see a list of all of them you will know exactly if things are going wrong you will be warned and you'll be able to fix it so this is mail engine the most powerful autoresponder system which is your captive autoresponder totally in your control you can put it on any domain inside wordpress and do all of your email marketing with minimum hassles while you get more opens more clicks and more sales from your email campaign